हाई एंड वेलकम टू इंडिया नंबर वन कंस्ट्रक्शन पॉडकास्ट बिल्ड मेड पॉडकास्ट ऑफिस बिल्डिंग्स रिटेल मॉल्स इंडस्ट्रियल क्लस्टर्स फैक्ट्रीज वेयर हाउसेज मनु गोयल इज एन आर्किटेक्ट एंड प्लानर एंड हर फर्म्स नेम इज द नो वर्क दे आर बेस्ड आउट ऑफ न्यू डेली एंड ऑपरेट ऑल्सो आउट ऑफ बरेली यूपी the firm started back in 1975 she is an alumnus from sept ahmedabad and she is a recipient of the shivning uh, fellowship from the british high commission and uh, we are very grateful that she is here sitting with us today good morning mani kaise ho aap i'm absolutely fine thank you so much It's such a pleasure to be here it is our pleasure and uh, i quickly want to jump to the topic that we want to discuss uh when i came to meet you first and i basically i should tell you uh, i've been in the construction space for a long time i'm a third generation in the same business uh but the space of architecture abhi kuch mujhse anchhui si hai aur kuch dur dur si hai uh but aap se jab maine baat kari thi and i understood your approach towards architecture and you explained a certain role of an architect to me it was a very unique perspective and i want you to just uh, tell you know our folks that what your ideology is how you run through it and you said rishab architecture is not just architecture there is more to it so let's hear it yeah absolutely uh it's a very vast topic Huge. first of yes, all absolutely. so i'll try to summarize it in a few words mm. uh so architecture uh is all about design we all know yeah. but it's an it's a right combination of art and science right as they say in the yeah. industry uh unfortunately i think that most common people think that architecture is so much about aesthetics but they don't understand that there is a whole scientific approach behind designing each and every component of the space which is the built space as well as the unbuilt space uh also the design elements that we use the design principles that we use yeah. so this it's it's a combination of multiple scientific parameters and every component that you put out there in that entire piece or product is uh, engineered it's like designing a huge product you know which is jiski uh, services bhi kaam karne chahiye jisme so it's not just aesthetics Hmm. that's what i told you yeah. and that's and then, what then you told me about a story where your, one of your clients asked you ki manu building sundar to banegi na yaar i remember oh that. yes <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a, that's a very interesting thing yeah okay so um <laughs> actually recently i was uh, i was presenting to uh, a client who runs a chain of schools okay and uh, so i was talking about our approach to design and you know i was emphasizing the fact that we look f- for efficiency a lot you know we really take care of uh, different components how efficiently they are put together how efficiently they will work yeah. not just energy efficiency but also you know looking at uh, what materials we are using what how are how is our building orienting towards the directions and so on and so forth yeah so then they said um, you are talking so much about efficiency uh do you so do you don't work with aesthetics like you <laughs> and i had a big laugh so i said i took a pause and i was like okay so if you are uh making a lot of schools if you run a lot of schools and yeah. you say that your schools have a lot of focus on uh, extracurricular activities or on personality development or on you know uh, sports and stuff so does that mean that your school not impart education yeah obviously I mean, that's a given <laughs> yeah so uh So yeah it's like that i think uh, aesthetics obviously are a part of uh, whatever any architect will put across the table but i think there's a lot lot more there are m- many more layers uh, also i think every architect uh, is also a set of impressions is also a set of uh, perceptions uh, from where they are coming what has been their journey what yeah. is their approach to life uh, what is their approach to uh, nature in general uh how do they perceive interpersonal relationships human relationships because mm-hmm. their design will only respond to the to their own perceptivity yes if they are perceptive of interpersonal relationships and they think they are important and they can be curated yeah. they will bring that component into the unbuilt spaces or within the design program of the building mm-hmm. even if the client has not 
uh, said it because most of the times client will only t- tell you the uh the said requirements like you know okay yes. i need like these many rooms i need these many spaces this is the sizing yes. this and that so yeah so basically <coughs> what you're saying is an architect brings a lot of their own personality into Absolutely. the design and into the building as well right uh again that's a very uh, that's a very loaded statement because uh, as an architect i think we should have the the sensitivity and sensibility to uh, be able to give a bit of ourselves to the project but at the same time detach ourselves from I know it. what you mean because uh, you know i can't give you a space that i like mm. my job is to understand uh, where, where you are coming from but i i use the word percep- so perceptive so i said if i can perceive that uh, this is the kind of let's say uh, a family that i'm giving a space to or this is the kind of an organization for which i'm yeah. making a corporate office uh i'll give you another example so we like to use the word called culture right yes. so let's say if you approach me for designing a corporate office yes. and uh, uh, so first thing my job is not just to understand that you need okay these many director cabins these many workstations these many so on and so forth spaces but also to understand what is the predominant culture of your organization mm-hmm. and where do you want to take it now with this space yeah so uh, let's say your culture can be hierarchical or your culture can be uh, collaborative or it can be um, competitive yeah so um, if it's hierarchical then i have to give a lot of enclosed spaces i have to make sure that the sizing of the spaces is hierarch is also hierarchical yeah uh, maybe teams are also structured like that that you know there is a defined interaction between different tiers of the hierarchy mm. vis-a-vis if you have a collaborate kind of uh, an environment then i have to uh, give you those kind of spaces where collaboration can be fostered yeah. whether they are indoor spaces or outdoor spaces chance okay. interaction people can still. come together people can come together you know uh, hot desking ho gaya huddles ho gaye yes uh, spaces where people are uh, people can get together but at the same time i can give you those you know maybe calling booths or small meeting rooms where you can get into a that little means, private working zone yeah, as well doesn't mean that you don't have well. focus you know spaces where you can yeah. focus and uh, similarly in a compete environment also there is you know i need to make sure that first of all what is it that is the predominant culture right now yeah. and where do you want to take it so this um is usually seen when you have a two or three generations of uh, you know people sitting together yes. so you uh, i've had uh, cases where parents had set up a little hierarchical organization but then when the younger generation is joining uh, that organization they wanted to be more collaborative mm-hmm. so at that time we have to strike a balance that you know uh, already ek existing office tha usme sabke bunk cabins the ab aap suddenly sabko nikal ke अलग अलग साइजिंग ऑफ ओपन डेस्किंग में शायद नहीं डाल सकते यू नो दे विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट इट दे नॉट यूज टू बीइंग वल्नरेबल दे नॉट यूज टू देयर कॉल्स बीइंग हर्ड बाय यस यू नो द टीम आई नो व्हाट यू मीन तो इट्स अबाउट दैट आई थिंक द आर्किटेक्ट शुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वो वाली लेयर्स इन अ वे व्हेन यू आर जंपिंग और डीप टेकिंग अ डीप डाइव इनटू अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर क्लाइंट एंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड देयर नीड्स uh you're actually shaping the future in a way because the functionality of that organization in that space or in that home for that individual uh would function around your design right Absolutely. so uh if it's a serene place for them to work in it's if it's a more comfortable inclusive sort of a work uh space it it will build more on that jo unka culture hai jaise aapne baat ki yeah. and if you're actually imbibing that culture into that design it will only grow more from there so uh, again when i said you know when i spoke to you that the, the philosophy that you had was a little different than most people i met uh this is what i meant uh one of the things i also enjoyed talking to you about was when you spoke about mixing the engineering with the architecture yeah uh that is something again that is a very rare combination i think half of the people and and i'm sorry i don't mean to point fingers at anybody in any profession these days but uh, i've seen that a lot of young architects a lot of people who are new into the profession are not taught that uh or there is that that vision is not there at least now uh, maybe it's not there in the beginning but eventually it grows uh you had a unique approach uh, about it because you do a lot of industrial clusters and you were explaining uh how each cluster works and how to make it efficient 
I think the word was efficient that that you used, and that felt like it was very close to you. And you want to talk a little bit about your engineered architectural approach? <laughs> yeah, surely. So uh, there are there are the question that you've asked has got multiple questions. I, I many, usually many do questions ask such questions, so I'll <laughs> try to take them one yeah, by one. Please. So one, I think in the beginning you talked about the approach by senior architects and younger architects. Yeah. Uh, it may not be so much to do with with the generations, but it has definitely to do with the times in which we are. Okay. So, uh, and I'm sure the generations before us uh, had an even more sort of you know a different approach. Yes. And there is no judgment about what of is right is or what so, is yes. wrong. So I so we are from a generation where uh, where architecture was already fairly established as a profession. Okay. I don't think that we had that much of a trouble of you know sort of making the people understand yeah. uh, what architecture was as a profession. Whereas if you look at the generation before us, maybe twenty twenty five years before us, and which is when my firm had also been started by uh, yeah. my parents, uh, the the field of architecture was not understood. You know, like people thought that engineers make building and who are architects, who exactly. are these guys. You know, yeah. Naksha bana dete hain, theek hai. Ek naksha mil jayega to humari building puri ban jayegi. Not really understanding the depth in which an architect can go. So, uh, so there are people who are trying to sensitize in the rural areas yeah. because in certain areas of the country, abhi bhi utna reach nahi hai. But hai. luckily for us, I don't think that that is a problem yeah. in cities. People are quite well traveled in India these yeah. days. uh then so i don't think that it is as much of a generation issue but today's generation has uh, a lot of access to a lot of information mm. and i think the 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 i wouldn't say problem but i think this is something that they have to do that they have to sift through that information and find out what is correct right so yeah. there are goods and bads uh hamare time pe probably even visualizing was not that easy which it is now with the help of the tools that you know Absolutely. you have so kafi uh, sare ready solutions bhi aajkal mil jate hain aapko jo pehle nahi the aur tab dhoondne padte the answers yes and this is in all the all the areas of work matlab yes. sirf architecture mein nahi aisa right. i'm sure in other fields of engineering also all of them to maan lijiye koi civil engineer hai aur wo calculations kar rahe hain baith ke sare manual calculations kar rahe hain visa yeah. we just press a button and then these yeah now so software is there software is there so to obviously ek depth ka thoda sa farak to i think padta hai but it's an individual's approach also so i, I don't think that today's generation is not going in depth yeah but uh, i think their their thought process is is definitely very different mm. they are much quicker on their feet and uh, um there are certain things which come with which come with experience and i'm sure when they are like 30 years in to the field they will also have a huge of course amount of experience of something uh, i want to add something to this uh, when you talk about uh, <coughs> architectural design or you talk about product design hmm. any sort of design that we are talking about design yeah. philosophies can be unique of course but design is design in my opinion right So when you when when you spoke about creating a building system, you spoke about how efficient it should be, how it should run. Uh, you are designing a building even for the future, right? So, उसके उस तरीके के features होने चाहिए that it is low on maintenance, etc. You were speaking about it. Um, I this sort of reminds me of the movie that I watched, right? Jobs. So Steve Jobs uh, was somebody who said, "Okay, I want this." Hmm. He didn't know how to build it. He had those support systems in place, right? Um, this was true back in the U.S. in those years as well uh, they were a lot more developed on the design philosophy and design phases uh, we are reaching there now we are, we are already there now now you you say okay i want this you might not be an expert on everything you might have that philosophy in place you might have have that idea for that project in place but then there are support systems now which are available who will help you draft it who will help you commission it who will help you design it better and for each system let's say if it's stp if it's anything in that building even those unique systems electricals anything that you are looking forward to you have that expert on board that can be hired and then then that approach or that uh, expertise can be on boarded uh, it's a more collaborative sort of a possibility now in design as well right pehle uh, aap i think sab kuch janna hota tha sab kuch knowledge leni hoti thi aur sab apne aap karna hota tha right yeah, yeah, so yeah. that is that is where i absolutely resonate uh, with you what you said right 
um and what about the engineered architectural yeah. approach so uh yeah so i think uh, efficiency hai kya okay mm. i'll ask you what is efficiency let's say uh, uh if mm. you have to talk about uh, construction material close to your heart let's say for yeah. example if i talk about the tmt yeah uh, uh, reinforcement for me efficiency is roi and it is value for money for me it understands that if i'm spending 100 bucks on it i must get at least 100 bucks worth of it okay uh for me that is efficiency plus long lasting durability okay uh what the future holds is something i can work more spend more time today understanding it and then plan it better in that way okay. that is what i do uh, of course i can't control it but materials can there it is very simple that we give something which is long lasting hmm. and uh, something which is uh, cost effective even today there are people who can afford higher costs fine good great for them but the the majority of the crowd is 80% or 90% of the crowd is still that 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 goes for that roi based system okay value for money kya and there is there is a bunch of uh, a herd of people who don't even know what to buy and they just want to go with the next guy right they just want to see what the neighbor is buying and they buy the same materials they don't know the efficiency of that product they don't to mere liye jo efficiency ka mayna hai wo sirf itna hai ki jo maine aaj 100 rupaye diye wo mujhe aaj 100 ki worth mil jaye और फ्यूचर तक अगर वो सस्टेनेबल है तो वो मुझे दो सौ की वर्थ दे जाता है दैट्स व्हाट इज एफिशिएंट आपने एक वर्ड यूज किया वर्थ राइट सो एंड यू हैव हिंटेड एट द इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ द मटेरियल या एंड यू हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द द ड्यूरेबिलिटी व्हिच इज द लाइफ ऑफ द मटेरियल राइट बट यू आल्सो सेड वर्थ तो वर्थ को आप कैसे डिफाइन करेंगे फॉर एग्जांपल नाउ आई विल गिव यू माय टू बिट्स ऑन दिस सो व्हाट वी डू इज वी टेक ईच प्रोडक्ट और ईच कंपोनेंट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग स्पेस and we look at the economics of it yeah. we look at the durability of it we look at the structural strength we look at the environmental performance we look at uh, the cost versus return in terms of not just money cost but also environmental costs you know so choice of materials becomes important how we put it together becomes important yes. all of this is efficiency so efficiency or kuch nahi hai it is just common sense mm. it is a common sensible approach to making decisions regarding any building as a you know as a component so hum at least that's how i look at it i look at buildings also as machines yeah right so just like in any machine uh, the whole machine will be as energy efficient or as in terms of performance will be as good as its parts are yeah. right and how they are put together yeah to uh, to give you an actual example <clears throat> सपोज मैं एक इंडस्ट्रियल कैंपस बना रही हूँ जिसमें मल्टीपल ब्लॉक्स हैं एंड देर इज लेट्स ए मैनुफैक्चरिंग बिल्डिंग देर इज एन ऑफिस देर इज सम वर्कर हाउसिंग देर इज सर्विस यू नो ऑल ऑफ दोज एंड लैंडस्केपिंग है कैंपस है सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई नीड टू बी एबल टू पुट माई सेल्फ इन टू द क्लाइंट शोज एंड अंडरस्टैंड कि मैं जो डिसीजन दे रही हूँ फॉर दैट इंटायर कैंपस वेदर am i spending that 1 rupee from the client's pocket yeah uh, in the right manner so uh, even before i start the project for me it's important to understand what is my turn around time for production to start on that campus okay uh, how how much time uh, my my entire building will you know sort of uh, take to come together and what all can i do parallelly yeah. to be able to Uh, make the whole campus alive by the time my production starts okay i also need to understand how my building human interaction is happening at uh, various stages how my man material movement is happening before during and after construction yeah. on that campus how my landscaping is phased up is it aligned with the seasons you know all those kind of things so those discussions will already start happening yeah even before my project has actually gone on site hmm. right uh another thing most of these lands are uh, low lying lands lower than the highways definitely now ab main dasegarh ka campus bana rahi hu to i am not going to fill the whole land and bring it up by 8 feet 10 feet that's not possible it's not possible yeah i mean for that matter agar main change mitti bhi dalti hu aapke ek bade Dasi campus <laughs> mein you will end up spending crores even before you've started the project yeah. and that is where the engineering approach or the experience of doing large sites Yeah. Uh, comes into practice hmm. coming down to within the building so what happens is you're uh, talking about the same campus let's say i take the industrial you know building as a case 
case study. So we'll understand from the subject expert, which is the industrial consultant, which that factory is using. Yeah. कि आपके क्या क्या स्टेजेस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन हैं हर स्टेज पर आपको क्या मशीनरी आपको लगानी है उसमें क्या रॉ मटेरियल चाहिए क्या आपका आउटपुट निकल रहा है वेदर देर इज डस्ट एट सर्टन लेवल कहीं पे कटिंग है ग्राइंडिंग है तो साउंड है मे बी देर आर शार्ड्स ऑफ मेटल्स देर इज लिक्विड वेस्ट विच इज कमिंग आउट दर इज करोज फ्यूम्स दर इज कमिंग आउट एट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लेवल राइट एंड इन अ प्रोडक्शन यूर योर सेल्फ मैनुफैक्चर यू वुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट Uh, certain stages need uh, air conditioning certain yes. stages need dust control yeah. so uh, industrial spaces also they say hai we cannot design uh, them in silos so it needs to be a large space which has to respond to all of this yes. now i can't condition the whole space or i can't have dust collection at you know all the stages exactly so it's not will, needed it's not needed also so the right approach will be to do the right thing at the right place right mm-hmm. so to understand ki kisko isolate karna hai okay. kisko uh, kahan par mujhe dust catchers lagane hain kahan mujhe thoda sa air flow bada dena hai so that you know human comfort is established yeah. ye wali sari cheeze aa gayi aapki then also just getting down to the very very basics and you know ekdam detail mein jaake samajhna ki acha uh, let's say for example aapka material maan lijiye aap uh, metal bars mein deal karte hain to आपका मटेरियल अनलोड कैसे होता है हाउ मेनी ट्रक्स कम इन डे यू नो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स व्हाट इज द वेटिंग टाइम तो अगर मैं सिर्फ वेटिंग टाइम ऑफ ट्रक्स ही रिड्यूस कर दूं विच इज एक्चुअली नॉट पार्ट ऑफ माय बिल्डिंग डिजाइन हाउ मच डज इट ऐड टू योर एफिशिएंसी बट आई कैन डू दैट थ्रू माय बिल्डिंग डिजाइन यस आई कैन गिव यू फोर यू नो अनलोडिंग डॉक्स एब्सोल्युटली सो द ऑप्टिमम नंबर ऑफ अनलोडिंग डॉक्स तो ये वाली सारी चीजें भी बिल्डिंग डिजाइन के पार्ट में आती हैं तो ये है सो आई थिंक दिस इज जस्ट स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ what efficiency can be sure, right material management doesn't <coughs> come under your scope right uh, and i don't think a lot of people delve into it or a lot of people even care for it uh, but uh, yeah this is incredible what you've said is <laughs> unique um, <coughs> i've never thought that an architect could have actually thought about something as trivial as where the material can be unloaded or how material management can be on site because it's a huge hassle choti problem nahi hai wo yeah on site it's a huge hassle and and kai baar maine dekha hai aisi sites dekhi hain jahan wo completely clog ho jati hain because there's something or the other lying there especially towards finishing stages you have so many things coming in you've got water ghar ke andar you've got wardrobes coming in kitchens coming in uh, sab sabke carcasses wahan rakhe hain fir aapke tiles lag rahi hain saath mein kahin par bath bath tiles alag rakhe hain kitchen ka stuff alag rakha hai aapki fittings bhi usi time par aa rahi hain Uh, there are so many things which are just filling up the stilt of that building and there is no place to move now and i've seen those situations uh, or hum uh, log door windows banate hain jaise to waha usi time hamari windows bhi pahunchi hui hain and they like okay sir ab ye kahan rakhna hai and immediately we had to pull them up to the same floor from the outside of the building so that something could move the entire stilt was clogged uh theek hai ki side par jo hai shayad uski bhi job ka part hona chahiye but if there is space enough for that that we can actually plan these things and stage it in a way i i never thought it could be done in an architectural engineered approach uh this is unique awesome um you want to talk about a couple of your experiences maybe uh, some some good stories from your past that you want to connect us with uh where you uh, solved such issues or i don't know created some <laughs> it'll be fun to even hear some failures if if there were and there were some <laughs> learnings there मेरे को आपकी वो आई आई लव द स्टोरी वे यू स्टार्टेड राइट वैन यू स्टार्टेड इन डेली यू एन निशांत वैन यू गाइज केम टू डेली एन यू आपने मुझे बताया था तो इट वॉज फन टू हियर दैट जी के टू की एक छत पे एक रेंटेड कमरे में रेंटेड फर्नीचर से शुरू हुए थे एंड हाउ यू बेसिकली बोथ वेंट आउट एंड यू स्टार्टेड डूइंग योर थिंग यू वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ यूर एक्सपीरियंसिस मे बी आई नो सम स्टोरी दैट दैट इज क्लोज टू योर हार्ट Yeah, so uh, failures. Uh, I don't know. Every day we fail, but every day we learn. <laughs> we do. Uh, but uh, I think uh, uh, talking about my journey in Delhi, I think the entire process of going about setting up a practice. Yeah. Uh, especially we had set up me and my husband. We set up the Delhi office or twenty years back. uh do our firm is uh, about 50 years old yeah, now and yeah. i think um uh, having that kind of a uh, huge portfolio of works and having a lot of 
you know those kind of like engineering we have in house um and having your elders to guide you and with their experience has always been great uh, but i think everybody has to undertake their own journey of mm-hmm. learning because ultimately you are responding to the project as an individual so uh, i'll talk about one thing that jaise aapne ek shuruaat mein ek baat kahi thi about uh, vision yeah you know uh, the larger vision yes uh, so steve jobs had that larger vision and yeah. he didn't know that that is what separated will, him out of everyone else how will he go about it yeah. so i think hamara to kaam hi hai as architects we have to think of the larger vision yeah. and then explore different paths failing and learning at the same time every day every moment and reaching uh, somewhere which is yeah. a part of your vision and i think in a nutshell that's what we did uh, we found our paths we built relationships along and we tried to we always try to stay true to our work and to what we say mm. uh, also i this one thing that i firmly believe in that you know education should not be your limitation it should give you wings so as an architect agar main limit ho jati hu aur main bolti hu the day i you know start doing a few good projects and i say that okay ye yeah, i am like the best architect around i've learned everything it's not like that yeah uh, i cannot let it become my roadblock that is just the foundation on which i'm building so i am a firm believer of learning new skills as you go along so yeah. uh, and that's what i think we do as part of our team also so uh in our office how it runs is uh, not that you know my sketch is the end of the world that i am going yeah. to sketch and you are just going to mm. make draft or whatever you just want to um sort of limit within that we arrive at a vision together in fact sometimes we do these collaborative workshops with our client okay. so i'll cite this case to you we were doing this uh, global design development center for hitachi in ahmedabad mm. and uh, we were trying to arrive at a concept uh, you know बट कोई ऐसे एक एक ब्रेन वेव नहीं आ रही थी कि हाँ ऐसा होना चाहिए सो वी वॉट वी डिड वॉज वी एक्चुअली टुक कल ऑफ ट्रेसिंग्स एंड वी कॉल देयर की टीम मेम्बर्स हु वर गोइंग टू कोलेबरेट विद अस एंड वी वेंट टू देयर सेंटर एंड वी हेल्ड दिस टू डे वर्कशॉप वेयर ट्रेसिंग ओवर ट्रेसिंग यू नो वी कैप्ट यू नो पुटिंग एंड देन वॉट इफ यू डू दिस वॉट इफ यू डू दैट वॉट इज इट दैट यू मिसिंग आउट हेयर सो देर वॉज सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स दैट केम अप यू नो मेनी ऑफ देम वर um actually living away from the city this was in kadi which is a little away from amdavad about an hour away okay so many of them live away from uh, the city life and they miss uh, the warmth of the city and mm. you know so the it it was like a part of that campus was a factory and you know so it was very like cold kind of a place you know so they wanted uh, that sense of warmth and they wanted more interaction between the buildings and this global design development center is coming along with the factory so there are two very different kinds of user groups who are going to yes. be there so we created uh, this you know green walk between these three buildings which was uh, semi covered mm. and there were solar panels on the top so we utilized the sheeting instead of sheeting we put the solar panels and uh, so it was a win win because that entire space which was non air conditioned usme humne misting ke nozzles de diye and we made this whole green walk with a lot of indoor plants and um, i recently met the client this was finished in 2018 was the first phase and 2020 was the phase 2 so i recently met the client uh, uh, at an award ceremony in ahmedabad and they were uh, the kind of things that the client shared with me were were phenomenal like they said that uh, at that time what we were talking about they are now living that wow. you know experience they are saying ki hum meeting room mein baithe hote hain aur bahar hame pair pe se wo katphodwe ki jab awaaz aati hai na tak 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 and i they said that i remember you with that बिकॉज wow. तब हमने बातें कही थी कि uh, आपको इस जगह पे भी हम वो एक फील दे सकते हैं एंड वी प्लांटेड सर्टन काइंड ऑफ ट्रीज कमिंग टू ट्रीज बिकॉज ग्रीन इज समथिंग वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट आई ऑब्जर्व नेचर अ लॉट सो आई सी दैट देर आर सर्टन प्लांट्स एंड सर्टन ट्रीज विच हैव सर्टन काइंड ऑफ बर्ड्स विच दे अट्रैक्ट राइट बिकॉज ऑफ द kinds of spaces that form between their you know leaves jaise aapne nimbu ka ped kabhi dekha ho uske bahut choti choti sunbirds aate hain badi birds kabhi nahi aayenge because usme kaante hote hain okay right so bahut ni choti choti detail mein ja kar agar aap soch sakte hain aur aap fir usko apne buildings ka part bana sakte hain to aap ek bahut interesting experience create kar sakte hain for the user wow you know 
I recently about 2016, I met someone who's actually been like a guru in my okay. life and they've been able to help bring a lot of clarity to my head uh, and also prodded me to think about what is my purpose in okay. life, right? Okay. Because I think ultimately, kaam sab karte hain, paisa sab kamate hain, aur difference bhi sab laate hain apne kaam se, kisi ne kisi ki life mein. Uh, but phir bhi ek larger purpose hota hai, jo yes. hum sab apna pura karna chahte hai, right? Kahi na kahi. Absolutely firm believer in that. Yes. Right? So, he said a very beautiful thing. He said that your blessings are not only your privilege, if they are your responsibility. Hmm. And that was such a powerful thing. And I say that not just to myself. I think this is for every human being. That uh, no matter which profession you're in, what level of you know society you're in, which city you're in, rural, urban, or wherever, there are certain blessings which are only yours, which are unique to you uh, due to your life conditions or whatever, whatever. Why do you get any challenges in your life? तो आपको वो चीजें यूनिक होती हैं जैसे कोई बहुत अच्छा बोलता है कोई बहुत अच्छा सोच के लिख लेता है कोई कोई किसी किसी चीजों को बहुत अच्छे से परसीव करता है कोई अपने आप को पोएट्री में बहुत अच्छा एक्सप्रेस करता है किसी को ग्रीन्स से बहुत ज्यादा लगाव होता है किसी को बर्ड्स की भाषाएं समझ में आती हैं आई हैड दिस फ्रेंड हु यू हु कुड सी पैटर्न्स एंड स्टार्स एंड शी वाज जस्ट कंप्लीटली फैसिनेटेड बाय यू कुड you could spend hours with her you know lying down she'll tell you okay you know it is not that she studied astronomy it's just that she had an interest in it and that was something of a unique quality ek aur thi uske andar wo aasman bahut dekhti thi she's still a good friend of mine hmm. so she would lie, lie down in the way a bird is flying yeah. wo uh, kaun si bird hai bata sakti thi and she had these very very uh, interesting you know story she said dekho wo jo bird hai na badi unstable hoke ud rahi hai that's a crow <laughs> <laughs> said yes the birds which have wow. a pointed tail they are usually parrots so is tarah ki bahut sari chhoti chhoti anecdotes unhone mujhe batayi thi so coming back uh, what i think is that jo ye jo privileges hai na aapki which are not necessarily your profession inko ek shape dena inko groom karna inko enough practice karna aur inko create karna uh, to be able to impact a larger change not for yourself but for others is your responsibility yeah because god has blessed you with them that is your purpose that is the purpose agar aap use fulfill nahi karenge to wo kisi aur ko denge exactly maybe i mean like it is this is the nature of life yeah ki agli generation ko wo opportunity aap se leni jayegi kisi aur ko deni jayegi it bahut acha tarika hai sochne ka it's a unique perspective on uh, so, life as well and i think uh, you've written that in this book uh, that you've uh, written over the lockdown right uh i saw that line there and i loved it uh, that it's not just the privilege it's our responsibility as an architect also when we are designing that building uh, or that premises or that cluster for somebody yeah uh, that resonated with me so much um of late mere sath ye ho raha that i've been meeting a lot of students uh, i've been speaking to a lot of students being approached by a lot of students be it civil engineers be it even architectural um the you know colleges or be it um, pe- uh, students studying design or interior design um your philosophy of design and your ideology that this is the role of an architect and this is how things should be designed are unique to you do you want to share some sort of an insight with students who are let's say in their third or fourth year of fifth year of their architecture and this is their formative years yeah कुछ आप कुछ ऐड करना चाहोगे तो फिर बी आई थिंक बी अ गुड फॉर देम डेफिनेटली सो आई इंटरेक्टेड विद स्टूडेंट्स आई फाइंड दैट दे आर मेनी ऑफ देम आर आर कंफ्यूज्ड एंड दे ऑब्वियसली एट दैट स्टेज मेनी ऑफ देम डोंट हैव इनफ कॉन्फिडेंस इन देयर थॉट राइट सो दर्स ओनली वन थिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू say to pretty much all the students that uh, your student life is something where you can explore a lot of faculties of your personality yes. right uh, don't just limit yourself to uh, what project what my faculty is saying mm-hmm. you know don't get bogged down by this but explore uh, as much as you can because aapka jo approach to work hai wo usi cheez se enrich hoga yeah uh, aap 
अपने वॉइस को ट्राई कीजिए पॉडकास्टिंग कीजिए थिएटर करिए यूज अंडरस्टैंड हाउ योर बॉडी वर्क वेदर यू नो योर स्ट्रेंथ्स एंड योर लिमिटेशन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन वर्क ऑन दो स्किल्स दैट आर लिटिल ऑन द लोअर साइड एंड यू कैन कंपाउंड द वंस विच आर ऑलरेडी वेरी गुड विद इन यू एंड नो टू आर्किटेक्ट्स आर द सेम सिमिलरली नो टू स्टूडेंट्स आर द सेम एंड अगर आप वो चीज़ अच्छे से करते हैं तो आप को बहुत लाइफ uh, में एक बहुत सारे डोर्स खुलते हैं बिकॉज यू सी प्रोफेशन भी आर्किटेक्चर का एक लीनियर प्रोफेशन नहीं है इनफैक्ट यू विल फाइंड दैट मोस्ट आर्किटेक्ट्स डोंट एंड द प्रैक्टिसिंग आर्किटेक्चर आल्सो बिकॉज डिजाइन एक मोर ऑफ अ मेंटल स्टेट है देन जस्ट अ प्रोफेशन सो सम पीपल फाइंड क्रिएटिव सेटिस्फैक्शन विद विद इन सर्टन फील्ड एंड आई थिंक आर्किटेक्चर उस तरह का एक you know it's called the mother of all designs for no reason that mm. uh the, that you know it gives people that opportunity ke aapko jis bhi cheez mein interest hai usme aap usko further lekar ja sakte hain a lot right. of people end up doing product design then right. you know some people uh work with small spaces some people work with large spaces a lot uh and i think aap aap usi experience se apne work ko enrich kar pate ho yeah so this is what i would say and i would say that have faith in yourself and don't go by what others are saying i of late i've heard a lot of students saying that uh, ai ke wajah se profession khatam hone wala hai you know and uh, the, the no i've heard things like that and i mean they're saying that the profession of architecture is dying okay maybe it's undergoing a huge transformation but that so so is the society i mean so are so many other professions you fall in love with the craft and then you explore it take it further as much as you can hmm. don't limit yourself yeah. with with but like, don't be within a limited glass walls yeah and don't fall into the dogma of random <coughs> things that you that other people are thinking i, I think create your own ideology is a very big part of your profession in any case right absolutely uh, uh, that stamp of uniqueness comes in from your own ideology and that's where you stand out yeah uh, i saw this friend of mine who shared uh, something on a on a group that we have uh she shared this she called it a chandelier but it's some focus lights on the wall on the on the ceiling and it's they're hung by a special string mm-hmm. and what's hung by a special string is a stone which has some luminescence effect on, in that light okay so uh that light is just throwing light on those stones mm. and it's just emitting light and it's basically showing different colors and it looks amazing and it's a unique creation that she did right uh i immediately called her and i told her i think you should submit the design to some sort of a architectural magazine or something and just apply for some award i think you can win some design award in this uh, but it came from an idea that must have clicked to her somewhere right yeah now uh, she told me she was traveling and she saw that stone somewhere and she realized that when she held it up against the sun there's a very nice translucency that stone had uh like you mentioned your friend right who uh, used to observe the sky a lot who yeah. understood how the birds move ek observation hi to hai wo yeah. power of observation <laughs> that can become a part of your persona True. and as a designer as an ar- architect or a planner it can become a part of your design philosophy that makes you stand out yeah. i don't think ai can do that i don't think ai can replace that human uh, aspect yeah. of things and we have a lot of depth Yeah. a huge amount of depth that we have within ourselves that's where creation happens yeah. and i completely i'm on board with what you said i loved speaking to you today manu thank you so much for your time uh, i think uh, the sunday mornings become worth uh, each minute that i spend with unique people like you and uh, this is where the podcast actually feels like something really worth it so thank you so much for your time today Uh, if you have any questions for architect manu goel please write to me at buildmatepodcast@gmail.com uh, you can follow me on instagram at buildmatepodcast i will be sharing her firm details and her contact details uh, if you want to write directly to her i will drop an email id that you can share, contact her at uh, yeah so thank you for tuning in and have a great day